Hello everyone, it's Denise Brown up in Whistler, Remax, Blue Sky Real Estate. I am bringing you today the June market update. And I know we're near the end of July, but we can't miss out on June. So I am going to be adding it to the link below or attached to this newsletter or post the uh, stats for June. And it's all very interesting because it's think against what people have been expecting. So let's get into it. So we have 411 active listings, which is up from 2019 um, at this period. So we're looking at January to June. 411 active listings at the moment compared to the same period last year, which was 345. Uh, in June, we did have 47 sales compared to June 2019, which was 28. Uh, the average sales price for this period, 2020, June to Jan uh, January to June was $1,468,194 compared to last year of $850,841. And I think if you've been following my stats, you'll see that we have had some very big sales this year. Uh, the median sale price, if we get rid of all the outer liars, uh, is still uh, considerably different than last year. The median sale price for this period has uh, is one million and fifty thousand dollars and uh, compared to 2019 of seven hundred and forty thousand dollars now double check these numbers believe me uh let's talk about days on the market of course we are expecting this uh, time of change the days on the market to get longer and they have uh, 86 average days on the market so we are seeing more properties come on the market and then stay on the market a little bit longer the 86 average days on the market for this same period uh, in 2019 it was 47 days on the market if we look at the median days on the market it was 56 for this period and in 2019 it was uh, 29 so 56 to 29 now, um, some of those numbers are sort of making go, hmm, because we've got 41 active listings, 47 sales, so up number of active listings, up the number of sales, uh, still up the average days on the market, and the average and median sale prices are up. But what you'll see is that the total sales volume is the equalizer. The total sales volume for this year was 267 million. $232,191 compared to last year, which was $310,355,178. So um, what this uh, market update doesn't tell you, unless we go uh, deeper into it, is that uh, we have um, pockets of hot listings pockets of demand where people are definitely going get me out of here they want to buy in Whistler we've got lots of movement and we have the uh, I guess the most popular properties selling quickly but there are others that are uh, definitely slowed down so we will see other pockets that are, are more I'm going to say buyers market pockets and there's sellers market pockets so we can see that it looks like We've got more uh, more properties are definitely coming on the market, but it's not that they aren't selling. It's just that the number of properties coming on and the number of sales are coming on, uh, you know, quite intense. And there are some that are staying on the market longer, um, which is what you'd expect. But we've got some really big sales um, prices on some of the listings, so that's blowing up the average sale price and the median sale price, which is very interesting. So our total sales volume, I don't know whether you'd call that. Uh, close or not, it's still within, uh, let's see, 50, 50, only $50 million, and worse for that could be 10 homes. Uh, uh, for small area investment properties, it's a lot more. But So anyway, it's interesting. And uh, it's also interesting that some of the uh, the sales that are making, the, making this data different than what we saw last year is that they're very big sales numbers. So $6 million, lots in the $5 million range, there was two sales in the 10 to 15 million dollar range so there's a, some numbers in there that you know are, are those people that are quite liquid are putting into Whistler so it's very interesting so um, pulling the money out of elsewhere and putting it into Whistler so we know Whistler is a lifestyle choice and I don't know about you but when uh, we went into isolation 
and we closed our doors and locked ourselves in, um, I found it very difficult because uh, I need social. You know, I need people around me and I did not um, manage as well as I thought. <laughs> so, um, and some other people thrived within it. But I know that when we were, were in the stage three uh, of the, uh, I guess a stage three opening happened in Whistler, our highway was immediately busy. People were coming up to Whistler and they were going, oh my God, I can get outside. Oh my God, it's like a breath of fresh air. I can spend time outside my house and um, still respecting the COVID uh, regulations, which we say, please respect the COVID regulations in British Columbia. We do not want stage two, stage, uh, two of the COVID uh, virus coming and locking it all down again, please. So masks, wash hands, sneeze in your sleeve and six, six foot, or what they say up here, a bare length apart from each other if you are not related. That's pretty good, isn't it? Anyway, so that was a very interesting for June. I'll get you updated for July very soon because that's around the corner. But there's a lot happening in Whistler. And as always, you can talk to me anytime. And buyers, the right time to buy is when I can find you the perfect property or the one that's as close as I can to match. Because it is harder for me to find you the exact property that you want. So don't try and follow the market. Just like when you see the property that you love, that's the time to buy. I hope that you are having a great day and will come up and see me sometime. And uh, sellers, I run out of listings. I've sold everything that I have in a single family home. So if you want to uh, talk to me about my Wizard of a Marketing program, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a good day.